I'd been having this issue with my machine heating up in the summer, it was hot out, and I talked with uh, the service tech at Pape, and we couldn't figure out if it was a pressure issue, a pilot control issue, whatever, but the pilot control filter had been changed recently, within the last uh, 100, 150 hours, so nobody thought to check that. But I thought, you know, I'm gonna put some of that Schaefer's in and see what happens. We drained the tank and put the Schaefer's in. Not a full flush, just drain the tank and put 35 gallons of Schaefer's in. And the problem went away to the degree so much so that had I not known it was there originally, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. It wasn't till a while later that I went to change this pilot filter. I pulled it out and I was looking at it and I thought something's not right with this filter. What in the world? So this is the original pilot filter that was in the machine that led to all my problems. Um, this filter, as you can see, the bottom of it basically failed, herniated and pulled up to the face here. And that little pee hole in there is about a quarter of an inch in diameter. And that is what all the Schaefer's fluid was flowing through so well still that I had a hard time even noticing there was anything wrong. To get perspective on what it's supposed to look like, this is a Donaldson filter in the right part of the screen. So you can see how big the opening's supposed to be. <laughs> and on the bottom, it's supposed to be sealed. So the filter in the left part of the screen is what failed and restricted flow. But the Schaefer's flowed so much better than the conventional fluid that I was using beforehand, I could still hardly even tell there was an issue. Apart from the fact that you need good lubrication to keep the metal on metal wear to an absolute minimum, you need good flow. The Schaefer's flows. You need good stuff. I mean, we're talking about an excavator that costs a quarter of a million dollars new. Why would I cheap out? Why would I try and save $400 every 4,000 hours of that machine on low-grade hydraulic fluid? It doesn't make sense. Buy the best. 